Oh, here we are, back in the legal district. Oh, Barrister. Yes, yes, I've already dealt with you. Somewhat. Uh, so what do we have around here in all these fancy little places? Note from lawyer. Uh, S, I suggest you do some research into cases concerning similar acts of arson. I don't think your client has a case, but if you confuse this issue enough with the terror tales, the jury might just vote with their hearts rather than their heads. That's what Tim Sh would do. I trust you. So, what am I... So, ruin up there. Apartment. Tim Sh. Location. Gone through this. Apparently, there's n security here is very bad. Upstairs, then, yes. Yes, upstairs. All these guards around here and everything else is all that. Quite a painting. Quite a painting. Someone's just leaving coins around. Weird flex, but okay. Do something about the barrister. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want him to get eaten to death. Let's just. You know, let's just lay him on the table. Looks like, you know, having a good time sleeping. Keeps them away from all the rats. In case they want a piece of them. Bump my head in the ceiling. I hear it. Outside view. I pretty much killed everybody in this whole level has to offer. Ah. Cigarettes? Yes, please. Um, okay. Just, just, just ten piece. Sitting over there. Cultist scribblings. This was, this one was a teacher. She used to teach this children about the black-eyed one she saw in her dreams. No one knew, but then one of the children went into a trance, began to cry her name. Then the overseers came. Oh, that's not good. Erodius Sack. Cultist scribbling. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not know what, uh, what they were. We used to pray to them. I mean, I can I can do that too. I've killed everybody though, so 
This one worked so hard he broke both his hands. When he was no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died, after which he turned to begging. Then he died. This one liked to carve wood. Once he once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and it kept it in his pocket. Its grains knew all of his secrets, just as I do. Okay, fall that way, that works too. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points. Ah, he's already but subdued. But he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead. And the water's rising. Mm -hmm. You left a mess on the killing floor, Dowd. I guess you know by now these things have a way of catching up with you. But maybe you're past caring. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. You were in a daze. I hope it wasn't lightning. I hope he dies a lingering death. Place the tarot card. Bleed on the card. I have to burn the card, like I said. District. Have some food. I've already been in here. Go ahead. And the non lethal. Don't interfere. What is that horrible stench? I can barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timsh. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timsh. Please, call me on. We're friends. Here, this will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible. I, I... Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no. This isn't the right document. This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court. It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. This guy is just eyeballing me. Now what? I don't want to touch him. What if I get sick? I'll just wait for him to wake up. Easy. Well, at least he woke up from his 
his um, sedated state. With Tim. Help! Watch it! Hey, what's Fire going on, guys? <laughs> Note from Timpsh. Scott, do we really need that alarm device in my office? It's ugly, the colors clash, and the cable is making it's marking up the woodwork. I'm positively certain that the way it's been attached to the floor will cost a few thousand in coin to mend. Arnold. Ah uh, yes. He wants his uh his style. Ooh, evictions list. Forestole Crow's Court, SMA liquid. Assets, 2,900 coins. Property value is 16,500 coins. The Dracos and Fenster Way, uh, 1,200 coin. Uh, liquid assets, 22,700 coin. Property value, the Cartwright, Vessler Close. Assets and property negligible. Um, Blanken in the Ag Rush Way. Arnold, have you forgotten that the Rudd Shore is flooded? I can't praise this. <laughs> Bendler and Thyme Street, estimated liquid assets. 4,600 coin, property value 51,500 coin. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils, and they, as you know, are on the do not touch list. It's hitting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means. Hmm. That's Last strange. Will and Testament. Jim doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Demile. A repair notice. Staff, Barrister Tim Sh was complaining about squeaking in these doors, so they've been removed until the repair orders come in. Please don't throw anything down the shaft or do anything childish. Oh. Shit, like... Oh, that's for the, uh... The trolley, whatever, the lift. Whatever the fuck it's called. Letters from the Overseers. Mr. Timpsh, we cannot currently spare an Overseer equipped with the musical device to become a member of your House Guard. All of our ranks are currently very busy with other weightier matters. If you fear an impending attack by a perpetrator of the uh, heretical arts, I suggest you come immediately to Holger Square for Council and Protection. Overseer Mallow, Office of the High Overseer. apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jesse and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. That satisfies you. Because you won't get more. 
I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have indicated some places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Thanks. Is that who you were looking for? Yes. Oh well. She's a bit of a bitch. Yeah. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. More ruins. Okay, hundred coins. What else you got right here? Anything, anything? Nope, that's it. Wasn't expecting to uh, talk to a statue. If I'm being honest. Just pick up that urn. A letter uh, from Roland. Dear Arnold, thank you for inviting my wife and me over for dinner last week. We both had a splendid time. I also appreciate you being so patient with our episode. Not many people are as understanding, and you showed considerable grace. I am also happy I was able to confide in you with my business arrangements. I'm sure you will be able to keep them strictly confidential, but it was a relief to finally be able to vent about the frustrations I must endure daily to a colleague who understands these sorts of things. I hope that you will allow me to return the favor and play host to you for an evening. Sincerely, Wiles Roll. Anna, this is Arnold. If you happen to awake him while no one is present, I've prepared this for you to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. Kind of crazy man, ain't he? Look at that. Seven of seven ruins. Letter from a doctor. Barrister Timsch, I'm afraid I cannot in good conscience remain your mother's physician. The way you repeatedly deny her access to practices which could potentially restore her uh, lucidity is nothing short of a death sentence, and I wish no part of it. Good day to you, sir. Dr. Patridge. Uh, Patridge. Yeah, see? Doing shit to his mom, man. Just letting her die. Galvani Weave. Fancy. Okay. Bath, toilet, nothing special, nothing special. God, these guys just leave coins all over the place. say I don't that's actually it I'm done here
see you guys later. I gotta make my way back to the waterfront. Make my way back here. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. It's that you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Back out we go. Let's go, Billy. Tim, she's ruined. A rotten, cold, rich prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. On to the next thing. Look at that. Found it all. Outsider Shrine, so... Huh? Overall chaos. High. <laughs> Very high. Jessamine Caldwin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the Outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Caldwin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Uh oh. There's a storm a coming. Favors. No favors. Arc mine. What's that? Uh, 
Um, <laughs> okay. found us in the first place. Perhaps one of our own. Oh my god. Like that's lottery. Cigars tonight, chances are very good. Heretical artifact, please lock this superstitious artifact. It was found on one of Dodd's men in a training area within the Commerce building. They should be a crate and a temporary headquarters for items of this nature deposited there after you create a log entry for it. Overseer Marcus. What's it for? Ooh. So there's 
there's three. Three of these, huh? Sorry guys, I was so quiet the whole time, I was just focusing. Victory letter. Overseer Pike, I have taken the Commerce Building. A temporary headquarters has been set up in a nearby structure. My men are dealing with a number of captives that should prove to be a very informative. We have achieved total victory here, catching the enemy by surprise. Plans for a large, larger coordinated assault were obviously unnecessary. I'm confident that Dodd will show himself and will be in our custody shortly. Overseer no, Leonard Hummel. Well, obviously they were wrong on a few things. God's lock. down. Let's go up. No. Some Piero Remedy. Oh, that 
assassin died. Okay. Yeah, 
just this one room, huh? One that's left. Two of two. Seven strictors. This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district. Commerce. Grease oil refinery. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Big ass. Oh, my assassin. Hmm. My own ally. I might have to absolutely demolish. What is your will? Cut them down, Master Dowd. Seer leader is dead. We gave his body to the river crusts. After you freed our men, they routed the remaining overseers. We control the commerce building again. They were planning a larger assault, but this group of overseers attacked early, without the others from the abbey. Where's Lurk? I'm here. I was held up. The overseers had us trapped. They've. Oh. You. Yes. Me. Everything is oh. falling into place. Though I'd hoped the Overseers would be capable of finishing you in one try. Overseer Hume was just a little too ambitious. Fortunately, I still have one card left to play. Lurk. Sorry, Dowd. But you knew this was coming. Yeah, yeah. Even if you didn't think it was so soon. You've been slipping. Ever since the Empress died. It's my time now. Your little empire's fallen to bits. Your men are dead in the streets, and our dark-eyed friend has lost interest in helping you. Quiet, Delilah. You're right, but I'm going to show respect. Dowd, blades out. We'll do this properly. You once told me Billy Lurk was your finest pupil. Fast and strong with a sharp mind, it's no accident she was the only woman you ever trained. And she proved even more ruthless and deceptive than you thought. Sure. But she was no match for you. This is why, in a city of horrors, parents will scare their children with a legend of Dow, the knife of Dunwall who never chose sides, who preyed on the city's lords, who never swore fealty, who brought down overseers, once even an empress. I wonder what the final chapter will be. What happens to scary monsters in the end? And there it is. We've done it. The knife of Dunwall. So that means we still have some time left. We can actually move on into the next thing, which is the 
Brigmore witches. Let's begin. Uh, has been found. You can use your progression. You will retrieve any powers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just use my progression. Uh, I'm not a veteran still. I'm a bitch. <laughs> oh, so this just takes, takes place. The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. Da -da -da. So we still play as Dowd? It's been months since I killed the Empress. But it feels like only seconds ago, I heard her yelling for her daughter, Emily. Corval's face going slack with shock. And somewhere in my head, the outsiders laugh. Come to collect on our debt. Did you ever think you deserved to lose your Empress? That a better man took her life while you gaped like a fool. Come on, Corvo. Prove me wrong. has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. What happened? Did I kill him all Finished his scouting run. When you've talked to him, 
I'll give you the lip. Our powerful bone charms that come with the cost. Locate uh, by listening for the song. Oh, uh. Oh, hold on. Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Excellent. Lizzie has enemies inside Coldridge. If we play this right, she'll be begging to do business with us. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? Uh, no, let's go. We already grabbed all of her ruins and stuff, so... Cold Ridge Prison. Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler. Who knows the river? Someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall. Or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. Ah. Easy. Overseer music from the loudspeakers. We couldn't get in. Why the music? One of their prisoners. A spy caught at Dunwall Tower. The guards have sent for overseers to investigate. I'll be back with Lizzie Stride. Stay hidden.
music won't work. to see. Eat metal. He screamed for help. Uh, uh, there's an overseer arrival letter. Remember that an overseer has been summoned to address the situation in the interrogation room until the overseer arrives. No one has to enter the interrogation room. The prisoner cells are off limits. Overseers and other visits. Visitors. No exception. Looking for Elizabeth Stride, prisoner, a gang leader out of Draper's ward. Stride. Heard she did some damage on the way in. They took her to A21, top level. You can check the logbook in the guard station between section C and D. You're the first man I've ever seen break into Coldridge. I won't ask your reasons. Nope. Summon assassins deal more damage. Ooh. Anything else right here? Mana. stuff he could be doing. I just don't do any of it, because I ain't stealthy at all. At all. Log updates. Remember to take extra care in logging transfers. Even temporary transfers of prisoners from one cell to another must be recorded in the logbook. Sure that the logbook is available in the guards booth between section C and D at all times. And there are we'll... unsecured prisoners active on the premises. Yep. And we will leave it there. See you guys next time.